Hi guys, I am Asif Ali and watching this video. video to decorate this magical aura effect in UE5 Niagara. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it to like this video, like, share, and comment. And let's start this tutorial. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So from the reference list, we have created these two. Now we will create this one. So in this one, there is two trail that rotating around with the with this particle trail, and then we have these rings and a glow. Three elements. And I will not try to create the 100% same because these references are just for inspiration. I'm not trying to copy these because they have done these things with their like creativity. So uh, the all credit goes to to the owner of this effect. These effects. I'm just trying to like uh, take the inspiration and create the similar effect. So first uh, we need a. Uh, Trails so Niagara FX. So for trails, we need to two particles rotating around, then we need we can make the trails. So I'll copy this fountain one more time here. This will be my trail, and this will be my sword. Cool. So in the source, if I have uh, like the two particles or three particles, let's say you have three particles and spawn this one, then life is infinite. Correct. And then I take a rotate. Uh, or, or it around point. And we have this radius, so we can make it like 100. Then I make the rate 1. So it will start rotating. And then in the phase, if you connect the execution index, you can see all your three particles, the same distance. Right? And then we can make these things, uh, these axes random uh, if you want. Or you can just add some coil noise also. So, but it, it will now work. So, in the trail, if I delete the velocity, sphere, gravity, spawn rate, and use the from other particle and type the name here, source, fix it, and you got your trail. So, let's make the life maybe 0.5 and the spawn rate maybe. Little higher, okay, and then the radius may be 200. Okay, we can also make this GPU, so just make this GPU both, and also I'll make that local. So now in this trail, I will make the size maybe 5.5. Five. And make the spawn rate even high, maybe 500. Okay. And the rotation rate, uh, maybe 0.5. Now you can see we have trails. And let's just try to place it here. So the size of this radius, I think, is too high. And second thing, these should rotate like randomly. So, what you can do uh, instead of this, uh, what I'll do actually, I'll take the vortex velocity and make it like uh, five, uh, maybe two thousand. And we need to take the sphere uh, shape vibration here. And sphere, and in the vortex, you can randomize the axis like minus one, minus one, minus one. So these will have random, but in the sphere, instead of 
random i'll use the uniform okay and the size is 100 then i'll increase it even more this is better than the red rotator okay now we can make the trail longer maybe two and the size should uh, reduce our life after 0.5 maybe okay and the color if you see it's just a pink we can take any color in this case uh, let's say you have the green color and in this also and then uh, i will use in this one velocity align and the size I'll make non uniform, maybe 5 and 1, and then curl noise 200, maybe 120, and I will animate this also. And in the drag, I will use a curve, it will increase our life like this. And in the curl noise, maybe this will be 10. Okay, now you can make it a little hot, maybe 20. And this, the first particle, I can make it like 100. So that will look cool. But the radius is too high, I think. And that vortex will keep moving them away. So I'll use the spring. Spring. And here make it vector to convert position to vector. Then initial position. I just make it like 5 and 0. So these will be like around the character. And the speed is different. So you can just use this so the speed will be same and i will use vortex even more yeah yeah look cool and the size of particle which should be like this Start scaling down quickly. Okay, so next thing we need a uh, ring. Uh, we need rings like that, then a glow. So let's add a glow that will be here. So I'll copy this all, paste it here, and this will be glow. And in glow, we don't need spring, vortex, or shape, and we need actually some particles, and that will be a size of maybe 200 and 150, and that as I would just one. It is very sharp. We need something that should have that fade and faded. So I'll make a material M radial. And radial exponent and this will be additive, unlit, additive, two sided, and density I'll use 0.5 and the particle color. So we will have like this and then that bit. I'll multiply this also. Save this. And I'll draw this and use in here. That is compiled. So now you can see this is softer one. And maybe now 500 and 400, 400. 
that glow there is a dark color i will determine them i don't need random thing every time to run red and pretty and this all effect would be around here okay so we got the uh, glow we got the trails now we just need these rings and these rings like oval shape but i will use the round shape because i'm not copying that and represent so so i'm ring material and we need two radials radial and radial subtract from each other and then here we need a dynamic parameter so this will be the radius and then subtract something from that radius and this will be his radius so this will be my radius and because this value decide how much different uh, difference in these radius so this will be uh, like width okay then this will be the density 1 this will be the density 2 so dense one tens to that's it particle color and multiply it with zero yeah. i'll use it unlit translate put side it let's put the default setting so radius is 0.5 for first one the second the bit is 0.1 and the density for first one may be 100 and for the second one maybe it's 50 20 so basically we will have a ring and then that ring is also cutting with some noise texture so i'll use a noise and vector to vector to radial if i preview that it will be like this I'll use the mix level to fix that, and then I'll use the pan. Okay, and I'll also set the tiling. Maybe one and two. Yeah. Yes, so, so I will multiply this with this ring, and that's it. Save it. It will be like this. So here I'll copy the glow. This will be my rings, and I'll use that material here in dynamic parameter. Radius point five. This is point one twenty ten. So we have this. Okay. Now we can increase this even more and six one also. And we can make this thinner like this. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So instead of this, I'll use the spawn rate. Maybe three. Maybe two. and then this should be infinite and the size should be maybe 250 to 20 not much random and then i'll take the size that will scale from 1 to maybe 1.5 and if you see here it will like that and then scale color and fade in fade out this curve cool and the size may be to 20 200 and also that fade
Yeah. So this is my aura. I think that's that's it. This is final. You can do one thing in the trail. I'll copy this, paste this here. In this trail, I will delete the curl noise and I will not align it on velocity. And a size maybe just uniform, maybe five or one. There will be and the spawn rate maybe 1000. Okay, and this is scaling down. You can do that. Uh, even it should start scaling quickly like this. I think you can add little curl noise, but not much. Maybe if I isolate this five. Then, yeah. Also, I'll make it yellow. Yeah, that's it. In the post, I think we can go to the formulation. That's it. You can also do one more thing that you can copy this ring, copy and paste. Do nothing, just align it. If I isolate, just use the custom vector, custom here, and take the align, mesh orientation, and Z. So this will be here, but this is above. We need to move it down. Maybe minus 30. Yeah, I will decrease the opacity, maybe 0.3. Cool. So this is the. Uh, Final output, thanks for watching, keep them up.